Hey, this is the Revolution. I am a small business owner. Been in business for 12 years and I'm a vendor as well. A lot of my um, business is vending. And so I want to bring to you, if you're just a new vendor or you're just a few years into this, some of the mistakes I made that you want to avoid. So, uh, after vending so many years and doing pretty good with it, um, you know, I, it's a constant learning experience. But one mistake that I made and one mistake that I'm, I'm asking you not to make as a small business owner, I got really um, comfortable with my, my stuff and I stopped investing in my boot and then I found myself not making a lot of money because I didn't have nearly as, as, as many products I don't know when I stopped investing but be very conscious because once you do this for so long you start to really take it start taking it for granted and you can easily just you know just kind of forget that you got to constantly reinvest and have new things for the customers to buy or make sure you are stocked up very well where you know because if you have one big event and like that that's what happened to me I had one big event and I sold so much merchandise that I've not been able to catch up uh, with my with my stock uh, since then and you know but then when when I put more thought to it I just really stopped investing before that and so where where you know if you can get yourself to a point where you have an overflow even if it's not in your booth yet if you if you can just have an overflow of of merchandise sitting at home or in your storage or wherever you want to put uh put it is going to really benefit you and keep you in business and keep you making money. So therefore, when you have a big event and you sell a lot of stuff, you can just go to your, your storage and, and pull out uh, some of the merch that's already sitting there. Now, it's not easy to do because, of course, uh, having uh, inventory, uh, it costs money and, you know, you want, you know, you want to be able to have the money to reinvest and and have a over over stock of of merchandise but it's well worth it when you do it and you don't have to rush and do it all at once you can just do a little bit at a time you know just just make sure that you are purchasing uh merchandise consistently and then eventually uh it starts to really accumulate and that's that's one of my best. That's something that I just learned after you know twelve years that I got really relaxed on my booth, and I really really got to a point where I was just kind of you know doing just enough to have enough to sell. But you know when when I had the big event and and they bought all that stuff out, you know it um it really put me at a disadvantage, which is where I'm. At now, I'm trying to re really rebuild. I mean, I, st I have merchandise, but it's really skimpy. I don't have a lot, and I'm trying to rebuild. I'm trying to put myself in a position to have more than enough, uh, you know, because the more you have, because had I um, had more when I had the big event, if I had more that day, I would have made more money. Just, you know, just and just my advice to you guys that you know this can sneak up on you and it can uh, just you can start getting lazy about it uh... so anyway i'm d-revolution please like and subscribe to my page for vending tips being a small business owner i'm a 12 year vet in the in in vending uh... i appreciate you listening to my video guys have a good day